god, another beautiful day in New York City. Time to turn on my PC and have some fun. Let's do this. On? Oh, on? There's the on button. I've just installed this latest, coolest, new, cool, radical Santa game. And I want you to join me for it. It's called Santa's... Uh, hold up, what the fuck? Winter Walk. Winter Walk 2006. Ah, such a futuristic generation. Look how fast this game is loading. I can't believe technology. Oh boy, the beauty that it has become. I'm proud to be a user of this machine. It's a fun little game. WSD move, arrows to look, space to enter, and space to interact, enter to start. Okay, I use the arrow keys to look around. Um... That's, uh, that's different. Why is it telling me to use the arrow key? Oh, that's to look up and down. Oh, this is different. Alright, so I guess we can work with this. Put, yeah, put them out. Okay. Look at these incredible video game graphics. By God. You know, this actually does remind me of a game I played back in the day. The problem is, I wish I remember what the game's name was. It was a first-person shooter, and I, all I remember was that it was snowing, and there was a ladder that you can go down, and you shot people with a gun, and that's all I remember. <laughs> it was when I was very, very young, and PC games were just starting out, so... Like, there was... This is basically what it looked like, except it had a few more polygons, I'd say, and it definitely ran better, used a mouse too. It was pretty cool. That and Project IGI, or was it IGN? I can't remember. Some one of the two. That was one of the first few uh, PC games I ever played, and boy, that was an experience. I remember that like it was yesterday. It's awesome. I wanted to revisit it at one point in time, but like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. It's very difficult to revisit a game that old. And what's surprising is that it's free too. The sequel isn't free, but the original is free, which I find fucking baffling, but whatever. I might do a series about it at one point in time, because it is a historical monument for me. It was one of the first PC games I ever played, after all. And it's practically the reason I'm not good at first-person shooters. Like, that- like, first-person shooters nowadays, man, you- like, it requires so much reaction time. It's quick mouse movements and everything. Every, every millisecond matters. In that game, if you do that, you're dead, because that requires slow tactical movements. Or just shooting the guards from like 500 miles away because they literally are too stupid to ring the alarm bell when someone gets shot. Uh, it's like Metal Gear Solid, except I don't even think Metal Gear Solid was that dumb. I just found a key. Got the key, got the key. Uh, no, that was the map. I wonder where that map came from. That bitch is- it's Dora the Explorer's backpack. Dude, what does she hide in there? No, seriously. She's got a map. There were stars at one point. She was a monkey. This is something like a circus to me. How the hell is any of that legal? You can't just you can't just put a a talking map in a backpack. Either you're on cocaine or wait a minute, that just reminded me. Wasn't there a Dora the Explorer movie? What the fuck? Oh, I never watched it. Oh shit! Now I have to watch it for shits and giggles. Oh my god, it's gonna be the dumbest fucking experience ever. But it's gonna be. Super it's gonna be dumb to watch, but I bet you it's gonna be hilarious. Uh, I have to watch it now. Now that I remember it, I have to watch it. Also, where the hell am I? I know it's called Winter Walk, so I assume all you do is walk around, but damn! Maybe a little bit less walking would've made it fun. <laughs> Maybe it would be more entertaining if it wasn't so stupid bad. <laughs> Maybe the game would be fun if it weren't this game. <laughs> Maybe the game would be entertaining if um, I wasn't playing it. <laughs> Actually, that one rings true for some games. Uh, I'll never understand how people could like uh, Pikmin. Well, it's not that I hate Pikmin, it's just that I play it, and then I don't come back to it in a day, and then I never play it again. It's like, it's Animal Crossing with me too. Like, I play it for a while, then I miss a few days, and I'm like, ah, it's too much effort, and I just stop playing it altogether. Uh, that used to be the same thing for me in Metroid Prime and Wind Waker, but I managed to beat Metroid Prime 1 finally. Had its flaws. I want to do a series about that too, but... That, that and, uh, Wind Waker too, I'm currently playing that one. Who knows? Press space to lie down for a while. 
Why not? Look at the pretty sights. What a nice, beautiful white sky. Oh, I gotta go to sleep. It's apparently school tomorrow. Alright. Got it. Got it. Alright, apparently I'm snoozing. I didn't know the PC could sleep like this, too. Is this what my PC sleep sees when I put it on sleep mode? Like, it just sees itself to sleep? Kind of depressing, dude. Like, alright, listen, man. I'll let you turn, stay on, and, like, watch Coco Melon or something. Just This is just depressing. Oh, now it's full screened. Now you've got me intrigued. Now it's full screen, and now it's at night. Now it's turning out to be a horror game. But look at the sky! Why does it look like water? Either that or it's like a JPEG of a cloud that's severely messed up. I always hate that shit, dude. Like, my biggest fear is being in space. Like, dude, I like the ground, and if there is no ground underneath me, I am going to have a panic attack. Is, are those things glitching? Or is that just my imagination? Now I'm concerned. Severely. The rushing waters no longer feel nearly as peaceful as they did before. And I now feel as if something is lying within these forests that may not be so particularly kind to me. Was that always a thing that the graves did? I'm just going to say yes, because if I say no, I fear that I may be correct. And that fear is more terrifying than being incorrect. Being correct about something that's terrifying is honestly the worst thing ever. That's why I deny science. Like, the universe ending and a big, like, in the heat death where heat expands outwards and it all, like, stops the universe and time and space cease to continue to move. Nah, that's why I deny science. That shit, listen, I love you, but stop making me terrified about the end of the fucking universe that I'll never see ever. Like, please stop. <laughs> it's too much. I wake up every morning and I'm like, all right, he, I wonder how the universe is going to end, hmm? And what, what, is it going to rebound? Are we all going to turn into a tiny dot and be crushed to death? Is it going to expand outwards forever and never surface and then the universe ends forever? Hmm, I wonder what nightmares I want to have tonight. Like, fuck off, science. I'm not dealing with their bullshit today. Are things floating? I didn't realize that earlier, but things are floating, aren't they? Oh, no, I don't think the trees are supposed to do that. They're supposed to be on the ground. This is kind of fucked, man. <laughs> Hashtag Team Trees is true goals. Make them fly. Oh my god, are those giant rocks floating too? This music is not helping, by the way. Oh my god, you just scared the shit out of me for five seconds. Alright, who are you supposed to be? I can't touch you. But you seem to be dead. I'm so sorry, Mr. Reindeer. I don't mean to piss you off. Why, why do I get the feeling he's pissed off at me? Look at his face. Look at that face and tell me he's not pissed off. It's like you did this. You did this to me. Look at, look at my corpse. Look, no, don't look at me. Look at my fucking corpse. You did this to me. Like, I didn't do shit, man. Stop looking at me like that. Did you do this, though? Did you fuck up the earth? Because I'm getting the feeling that you did. You know, something funny I just realized. This is a Santa Claus game. It had Santa Claus on the title, but... I haven't seen Santa Claus yet, I've seen his reindeers, and they're dead, did, uh... Santa Claus fucking dead? Is that a thing that happened? I'm gonna go say... I'm hopefully saying no. Santa Claus! Santa Claus, I wanna say hi to you, I wanna tell you what I want for my birthday prison. Birthday bourbon. Santa Claus? Santa! Santa! Oh, I get to sit down for a while. Lie down for a while in the creepy night atmosphere where demons could be dwelling in the corners and that I can't see because it's too dark. Sure! Let me lie down in the nightmare zone. Let's see how well this goes. Press A to take a shit. This is a nice song. I just noticed something. What the hell's wrong with my face? Like, I legitimately can't see it. You guys see it worse. Because YouTube, like, compresses the darkness, so you guys can't see shit. But, like, 
I cannot see shit, and I have the brightness all the way up. Like, what the fuck? Is this the end of the game? Am I just here for eternity? Is this what the Walking at Night was all about? Uh, either this game is a secret way to tell me that a murder happened in the forest somewhere, and that the police are not investigating, and this is all some sort of conspiracy about that, or... I fucked up by sleeping in the nightmare woods, which, I'm gonna be honest, I'm favoring the second option. And also, I'm gonna end the video here, because if I have to keep listening to this song, I'm going to lose my shit.